Okay, so we're just going to do a real quick one here. So at the moment, when we um, you know, when you fire from the first person template, you have this this bouncy yellow ball, um, you know, that bounces about. And in most cases, you might want to turn this into a proper FPS, and you're probably not going to have um, this bouncy yellow ball. You want more of a kind of bullet style action. Um, so we're just going to quickly change to something more similar to that. Um, so I'm just going to close that down. Um, so all you need to do is we just need to go to the first person blueprints. Um, and there you go, blueprints. It's where we see the first person character blueprint and the first person projectile. So if we click that, let's just go to the viewport and you can see what the projectile is. Um, and now some people, their first sort of thought is that, oh, I need to change this to you know, a model of a bullet or something. You don't need to do that. Um, you know, how many games do you play um, where they have like a normal style gun, I suppose, that, you know, when you actually see the bullet, you just don't see it. Um, unless it's some kind of specialist gun, you know, um, or some kind of sci-fi thing that shoots lasers, you know, you don't see the projectile itself. So, um, you know, you can change that here. So static mesh, you can change that to whatever static mesh you want to shoot out. <laughs> Um, we're going to change it to, to basically nothing, but before we do that, um, we don't want to keep it there to, to actually see the changes we make to other things. So in the first person projectile blueprint, uh, you've got this thing here called projectile. It has a couple of things we want to change, and that's this initial speed and the max speed. Um, if you change them individually, so if I change this to like 50,000 or something, compile that to so the initial speed and start firing I don't see any difference yeah change that back to 3000 again try the max speed 50,000 something extreme um, again I don't see any difference again what you'll need to do is change them both so if we change them both to like 50,000 this is going to be a bit extreme push play well you can see <laughs> Just what happens to that yellow ball, it absolutely goes flying, still bouncing off things. But yeah, maybe that's a little extreme. Well, maybe it isn't extreme, it's, it's a bullet after all. Um, so yeah, well, you know what, we'll leave it there. Well, no, no, for, for this, for this, we'll give, give you like 10,000. All right. Um, you've also got this thing here, should bounce. So generally, um, you know, you could argue that a bullet might bounce, all this kind of stuff, but I don't want it to bounce, so I'm going to turn that off. And click compile. Um, so when I shoot now, um, you know the, it just sticks to those things there, and then after a while it will disappear on that timer that it's on. Uh, you know how far can we shoot? Reasonably far. Ten thousand is probably a fairly good shout, um, and you know it stops. So you, if I were to not see that projectile, um, I'll yeah, it would still bounce around potentially, and it, we don't want it to bounce around unknowingly. We just want it to hit something and stop. <laughs> so that's fine. So 10,000, maybe I want, I don't know, maybe 12,000. Again, that's totally going to be fine, uh, you know, depending on what you want. So I'm going to hit 12,000. Uh, that's really all I need to change. And I'm going to now go back to the viewport, click on the static mesh itself, and I'm just going to hit clear. All right, so there's still something there. There's still this static mesh component here. So something is actually going to register, um, but it's not anything that you're actually going to see. So I'm going to hit compile again, push play. Um, we need something that we can actually see. Let's just add in a, a basic cube here a second and um, simulate physics on that. <clears throat> so there you go, I can hit stuff. I've hit that. And it has, you know, it is registered as being hit, but there's no, we don't see this bullet anymore. Okay, some other things that we can do is we can set it up so that there's like a, when, it, when I shoot this, there's like a, you know, a texture that appears there, like a bullet hole style kind of texture. Um, but yeah, just for now, I just wanted to set up this up to get rid of that horrible yellow ball. Um, and we have a bit more power on the uh, on the, the gun. Okay, so just a quick recap. We've gone into the first person projectile. 
go into the projectile settings, change mine to 12,000, um, the initial and max speeds, but again, that's up to you what you want. And I've turned off the bouncing there. And then I clicked on the static mesh itself. And rather than just deleting it from here, all I've done is I've gone in and cleared it so that you don't actually see the static mesh. Um, but it does register as actually shooting something. Okay. Um, and yeah, that is all. That is all for now.